was in third grade at four elementary school, I found out that I had dyslexia. I remember I was in DI, which if you don't know what DI is, it's basically like acting. It's going to work on your acting skills and has some serious technical design feats too. And I'm okay with that, aren't you? I loved acting so much, but I had such a hard time reading my scripts. Miss Margot was one of the coaches at the time. She noticed that I was really struggling to read. So we did some tests and it came back that I was dyslexic. A lot of people, I think, don't really understand what dyslexia is. I feel like they just think it's that you can't read well, that you're not very good at math, that you have not so good comprehension skills. Yes, that is all true. School can be so hard. We can feel behind or it takes us longer to do things or to understand things than other students which we might have to work extra hard than others. But what I think more people should know is that dyslexia is truly such a blessing and such a gift. Dyslexic people have such creative and unique minds. We think in pictures and are visual learners. Dyslexia is in no way related to low intelligence. We have incredible thinking skills to solve problems, create new inventions, tell stories, make new products. Having dyslexia certainly does not mean you are not smart. That is a complete myth. Some of the world's most talented people have dyslexia. It's been shown that dyslexic people have a much greater creative and entrepreneurial skills. Around a quarter of CEOs are dyslexic. Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple, Walt Disney, Henry Ford, founder of Ford's Motor Company, Tommy Hilfiger, Bill Gates, and so many more. I remember in fifth grade, my dyslexic teacher at the time had a huge wall that was covered in all these famous people that had dyslexia. It had Albert Einstein, Tom Cruise, Jennifer Anderson, Steven Spielberg, Tim Tebow, Tom Holland, Nolan Ryan. I remember being so inspired in that room. She made me feel so unique, so special, so smart, so creative. And it made me realize that I can do anything in this world if I put my mind to it, just like all those successful people did. Being dyslexic can be very hard. I love stories, but have a really hard time reading to the point where it's just not enjoyable and is so tiring because it takes up so much energy to not make it that far in a story. I would have to work so hard at reading that it just became unenjoyable. So I learned to tell stories through videos. Hey guys, it's Jenna. But in reality, so what really happened? We get to give a big thumbs up. I was creating scripts, I was setting up cameras, I was, I was getting the perfect shot to get the story across. I love making videos. I also developed a love for running and being on the track team. I think running became an outlet outside of school. It also was a ticket for me to go to a big SEC Division I school, Ole Miss, to pursue my love for videoing and telling stories through videos. And now, as a sophomore in college, I've had the opportunity to work the sidelines of football games, capturing videos and photos on the sidelines that tell stories. To everyone watching this and to Miss Grimes' dyslexia class at Fort Elementary, do not let anyone tell you different. Work hard in school, try new things, always use your imagination, Know that you have a special and unique gift and that you can change the world.